Ah, the Stanley Parable. What can we say about the Stanley Parable that hasn't been said a billion times before? That it probably wasn't worth $15? While it is a bit expensive for the type of game that it is, I think it is definitely worth it. Besides, I got it on a sale. We don't have two things to say before this review starts, though. Firstly, we're reviewing the HD remake of the Stanley Parable, not the original Half-Life mod. And secondly, we're sorry if this episode is a little short and rough around the edges. This is our first review after all, so don't expect anything groundbreaking. So enough chit chat, let's review the Stanley Parable. The Stanley Parable is a first person narrative exploration experience made by Galactic Cafe and released on December the 19th, 2013 about an office worker named Stanley. His job? To press buttons on a keyboard. Why? Who cares? And apparently he likes it, claiming to relish every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Until one day he notices that even though he'd been sitting at his desk for nearly an hour, not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. He then walks out of his office to discover that all his co-workers have mysteriously disappeared. And so it begins. When we first start up the game, we are met with the narrator, who immediately starts telling you what to do. In whatever situation, the narrator, voiced by Kevin Brighting, will always have some mocking or witty dialogue to throw at you. You can choose to obey the narrator and get a good ending, disobey from the start and die, or well, anything really. The Stanley Parable has 19 endings to discover, some being incredibly easy, and others incredibly tiresome and boring. And this is why we said experience, rather than game. You don't technically do anything apart from walking around and occasionally pressing buttons. Sort of like Dear Esther, but it makes up for the lack of gameplay with witty dialogue and insightful looks into the nature of video games. The visuals are also very impressive, being made with Valve's Source Engine, the same engine that was used with the Half-Life and Portal games, which, as I'm sure you know, were moderate successes. I don't really know what else to say. Can you do this? Fine. The Stanley Parable is a one-of-a-kind game. It might not look like this the first time you play, but as you start getting different endings and hearing that lovely voice a little more, you will soon realise that the game was worth every cent of the $15 you paid. I got it on the sale! Shut up. But- Shut. Up. Now, as I was saying, the game presents you with astounding graphics that might not be considered very impressive today, an amazing plot that evolves as you make progress throughout the game, and a great musical score by the Blake Robinson Synthetic Orchestra. Especially when you get it on a sale! I give up, I give up, I give up. Goodbye. But we haven't given it a score yet. Well, I give it a 9 out of 10. Well, then I guess I give it a 9 out of 10 too, then. Can I go now? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our first ever review. If you did enjoy the video, a like will be greatly appreciated. And um, click uh, any of the annotations above to go to our respective channels. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.